Nam the Kano's prophecy is now coming to pass. Dr. Chimaroke exclaimed, one Igbo leaders. Chimaroke is uh, is one of the uh, one time governor of the southeast and also is one of the very strong Igbo leaders we have in the southeast. He has brought his voice on this um, pursuit for Igbo presidency and and uh, also re gave reasons why our Igbo leaders and governors have been failing in this very struggle. <laughs> I also said it right here in our studio that our don't be surprised that no Igbo leader will appear as a presidential aspirant and is already happening. It's already happening. Look at it now. It's happening already. Can't you see that? <laughs> All right, my people, I greet you this evening. This is Evening News. Dr. Chimaroki Namani, the former governor of Enugu State and current senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, has spoken on the position of the Igbo people in the country's political sector. While speaking on the how Nigerians have been enjoying the dividends of democracy during an interview with Arise News, Dr. Chimaroki Namani stated what the Igbo people deserve currently and the consequences they will face if they fail to achieve that. Chimaroke reminded them of Nnamdekano's promise and what he prophesied about Igbo presidency. He said, don't forget Nnamdekano has laid a course on our Igbo leaders that none of them will ascend the seat of power. Don't forget Nnamdekano bet with his life that no Igbo man will ever appear as president of the southeast now what he said is now coming to pass the two winning political party apc and pdp is having a northerner and a westerner as flag bearers can you tell me that other political parties who, which are occupied by our Igbo leaders have a better chances of becoming president impossible Unamani has warned the Igbo leaders to do all within their power to seek support from Namdekanu, if possible, get him engaged. During the interview, Dr. Chimaroke Namani was asked to explain the place of the Igbos in the political zone, especially as it concerns the forthcoming 2023 presidential election and since the All Progressive Congress and the People Democratic Party have picked a Southern presidential candidate and a Northern presidential candidate, respectively. The former governor of Enugu State said that the Igbos should produce the next vice presidential candidate, according to him. But that cannot be possible without a proper consultation of Namdekano. Namani said that it is the turn of the Igbos to produce a vice president for the country. Since the two major political parties have picked their presidential candidate, he stressed that if the Igbos fail to produce a vice presidential candidate for Nigeria, they will have to wait for another 16 years. According to him, if they lose the opportunity to provide the next vice president of Nigeria, they will not only wait for another 16 years, it will make it a total of 40 years of their inability to clinch any reputable position in the top political structure of the country since 1999. Dr. Chima Namani said that if it happens, it will be seen as injustice, adding that the Igbos have maintained fidelity with the PDP. Well, that is for them. That's for them. Um, I will tell you that he doesn't want to know who succeeds and who doesn't succeed. Because right from the one, the IPOP has never shown interest 
for anything that has to do with presidency. Even if coming to the IPOP to apologize or to uh, or to negotiate with Nnamdi Kanu, I tell you that that will be a story that touch because Nnamdi Kanu will still maintain his stand, will still maintain his uh his his his, his statement. Understand now? So it just a, it's a waste of time, a complete waste of time. Okay, so um, Chimaroki, though you have negotiated well, you have negotiated well. So don't don't think that IPOP will ever think or want to have anything to do with um, Boris' uh, 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 opinion or or idea or whatever offer that the Igbo leaders will have to offer to. Uh, to to Nam the Kano. She understand now. Nam the Kano has been offered so much, but yet he still maintain his ground that if it is not Biafran freedom, it could be nothing more than that. You understand? So my dear people in the house, don't be surprised at what is coming out from Chimaroki. You know, it's uh, it's unlike of our Igbo leaders, and that is why they are known to be this kind of people, always thinking about themselves and not about the other persons. Do you understand? And that's just it. So, my people, my people, I call on you on this very um, issue. Please don't forget to leave your comment below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.